Lewis Hamilton stuck with Mercedes design as Ferrari exploit advantage, Pedro de la Rosa that is the view for former F1 driver Pedro de la Rosa, who reckons Mercedes may have fallen foul of complacency this winter. Ferrari impressed during last week's test run in Barcelona, while Mercedes put in some unnerving results. Bar a late lap from Hamilton, the Silver Arrows endured a frustrating week in Catalonia. The F1 season starts on March 17 in Melbourne, with Sebastian Vettel confident of a race win to kick off his campaign. And Alaroza reckons the Italian team should be praised for trying something different in the R&D department, as opposed to the relatively static Mercedes. In Formula One there is an impression that the new regulations could have affected the German team more than its rivals, he told. If so, maybe your technicians will find themselves in a complicated situation. A design change of the front wing means you have to change the whole car. The aerodynamic development is very complex. The engineers have several paths, it's like a labyrinth. You go down one path and then, after walking for 10 minutes, you realize that you should have taken the other. In Formula 1, if you lose 5 races, you're out of the championship. The change in regulations is a double-edged sword for them, Mercedes. There comes a time when the teams that dominate do not risk their design, while there are others that take another path. We are facing a change that seemed trivial, but it has been a double-edged sword. They, Mercedes, can win the championship because it's about how it ends and not how it starts. But right now, Ferrari have interpreted the regulations better. And Mercedes will have to continue with their design philosophy and make it work, there is no turning back. Indeed, and Valtteri Bottas will line up for Mercedes on the grid in Melbourne 11 days from now. Hamilton is gunning for his sixth World Drivers' Championship, while Bottas will be hoping to keep a pace with Mercedes' star man. As for Vettel, it is assumed Ferrari will pile most focus onto the German driver, with Charles Leclerc very much his deputy. Next news Bottas starting from 0 in 2019. Valtteri Bottas says he intends to start the 2019 Formula One season from 0 as he looks to recover from a disappointing 2018 campaign. Bottas failed to win a race last year, despite coming close on a number of occasions. The Finn ended the season fifth in the Drivers' Championship, while teammate Lewis Hamilton claimed his fifth world title. The former Williams driver enters his third year with Mercedes in 2019, and will have a brand new race engineer in Ricardo Muscani as Tony Ross has left to work on Mercedes Formula E program. There's always a little bit of work to start a new driver-engineer relationship and I've actually also have a new performance engineer too, so it feels like a bit of a fresh start for the season, Bottas said. We've only got to know each other better right at the end of last year, but I think it has been pretty good. Sometimes changes can be good, we started from a clean, fresh page. All the meetings we've had in December and January, about my performance, what can we do better during the race weekends, my weaknesses, my strengths, it has been quite nice to work with two new people and even in testing it has been enjoyable. Obviously we're still getting to know each other better and when it will come to setting the car up with limited time during the race weekends, we'll see how we can do that. But, so far so good. Bottas added that he has learned a lot from 2018, and aims to be more consistent to bring home stronger results. For me obviously we start from zero, Bottas said. I had a pretty decent start performance-wise to last year and even though looking back there was many things I could have done better. So try to do every single detail better myself and try to be the best version of myself and I have been able to be ahead of Lewis so I know I can do it. It is about consistency, 
about the right approach to each weekend, and that I make sure for sure I've learned all the lessons from last year. In the end it's not rocket science, it is hard work, about commitment and wanting to get to the goal one way or another. Next news Ferrari's Mission Winnow logos to return at Bahrain. Ferrari will reinstate their Mission Winnow logos at the second round of the season in Bahrain. Yesterday, Ferrari confirmed that the Mission Winnow brand would not be present on the SF90 at the season opening Australian Grand Prix. Mission Winnow is an initiative that was launched prior to the Japanese Grand Prix last year between Ferrari and Philip Morse International, PMI. PMI has repeatedly denied any connection with its tobacco brand, amid strict tobacco advertising laws. Health departments in both Australia and Europe have expressed concern over Mission Winnow. Ferrari is expected to operate once again as Scuderi Ferrari Mission Winnow following the Australian Grand Prix, as the brand was dropped from the entry list for the first round of the year. Mission Winnow will remain the title sponsor of Scuderia Ferrari in 2019, said PMI's Director of Global Communications Thomas Giovanni to RaceFans.net. However, our activation will be different in Australia than in other countries. We will announce additional details in the lead-up to the race in Melbourne. Although we acknowledge the position of the state of Victoria, we continue to believe that Mission Winnow complies with relevant laws related to our activities around the world. Mission Winnow does not and will not advertise or promote any PMI branded tobacco or e-cigarette products. Next news low takes leave of absence from Williams. Williams Formula One Chief Technical Director Patty Lowe is taking a leave of absence from the team on the eve of the start of the 2019 Formula One season, a Williams spokesperson has confirmed. Lowe's position at Williams came into question following the turbulent start to its 2019 season. The Grove outfit missed the first two days of testing as it waited for the final parts to add to its car, which it then flew to Barcelona on the morning of day three of running. During the following two days, Williams didn't manage much mileage but recovered somewhat in week two. However, drivers Robert Kubica and George Russell said that they will most likely be at the bottom of the pack as it aims to recuperate up the F1 competitive ladder. The difficult period is a continuation of the tough 2018 season that saw Williams finish bottom of the Constructors' Championship with seven points to its name. Lowe joined Williams in 2017, and the 2018 car was the first designed under his leadership. Lowe arrived from Mercedes, on the back of three consecutive World Championships. Williams did not comment on the future position of the Briton. Despite reports that Lowe is a Williams shareholder, GPToday.net understands that this is not the case and that Lowe's share option was never exercised. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wish health and success. Goodbye.